Greetings and salutations. This is your boy D. Boom for LOE Ascension, aka LOE Astrology, aka LOE Tarot, and I'm back for Divine Masculine's Karmic Situation. This is just an extended breakdown of Divine Masculine's Situation for September 23rd through September 30th. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, if you need a reading for me, just click on the link below, fill in the contact section of my website and um we can get you started there things are just a little too confusing ah, confusing <laughs> just send me an email dstorm13 at yahoo.com and let's just get with it um it's gonna be a long busy day for your boy probably about 14 hour day the next five days after the day <laughs> It's going to be all good in the hood. So, um, definitely going to utilize the time that I do have. It's kind of going to be more scattered right now. So, if you're ready on readings, definitely going to have all my email readings out. Um, definitely by, like I say, Saturday night. I'm going to be working like a Hebrew slave, bro. Really getting y'all what y'all need just so I can be set as far as readings is concerned. So, I can just get my mindset and ready into this new week and a clear mind and a clear schedule. So I'm trying to get everybody straight. I'm trying. I will get everybody straight by Sunday. Best believe that. Um, if we're doing live readings, just call me. Send me a text. Draw me a text. Please contact me. Let me know. Uh, if you're in America, Canada, United States, draw me a text or call. Um, outside the U.S., just draw me an email. All right. Why am I asking situation, karmic situation, excuse me. Let's get with it. So, we have his karmic row up top, and that can vary. That could be children, family, you, <laughs> uh, a karmic um, life, God, anything. You know what I mean? It's his life, stuff he has going on around it. You dig what I'm standing? So, Let's get it in. We got the two of wands, his role in here. We got the four of wands, union in here. <laughs> Popped up last read. You know what I'm talking about? Queen of wands in here. And we got that knight of wands back in here too, man. It's going to be a diesel suit reading. So, overall energy, nine of wands. Wounded warrior. Aside from the nine of swords he had in regards to the extended breakdown and the separation reading, to where he was just stressing, being engulfed in that whole toxic situation he was in with that devil card, which is a codependency. The way I'm looking at this reading, that devil card was definitely codependency to someone or something, not you. The whole codependency thing he had with you, that's, he's moved on from that. This is some whole self shit, self wounded shit that was around before you got here, Divine Feminine. This is a deep, Dark wound. Repeat that. Deep, dark wound. This deals with a lot of shit. I'm telling you. It's like dark shit. Abuse in your masculine's life. Sexual, physical, verbal, mental, psychological, trauma. This could be trauma. Maybe he witnessed some shit. Something horrific that fucked him up to, to this day that he's still dealing with. Could be emotions, sexuality, identity, whatever. It's a deep ass wound that he's been dealing with for a minute, but it's hit his peak. This is like a, a black kid that's about to burst. You know what I'm talking about? It's 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 that time to bust that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Cause that motherfucker is looking mighty healthy. You know, it's time to bust that bubble. It's time to let it out. It's time to release. Because <laughs> the overall energy is the nine of wands. Bottom line energy is the two of wands. Nine plus two is 11. Right? And then, spoiling the reading, in his, in the, in the divine masculine's karmic role in regards to him, we have the wands. Four of wands. The union. In regards to him. 11, 11. 
You want to know where this Queen of Wands is at? It's in his role in regards to the feminine energy. So in regards to feminine energy, he's focused on the divine feminine. Four of Wands. Eleven. Eleven. Overall, underall energy. Yeah, this shit going to be D-so soup. Let's go into this reading. So, karmic road coming into the situation for the masculine. We got the Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. His heart space is pretty full. Pretty filled. The slot of who has his heart, that's filled at this moment. I ain't gotta say who. You know, it's filled. It's, 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 it's like... It's occupied. It's not vacant. His heart space is occupied. It's not vacant. You know what I mean? It's got a lot to do with the Queen of Wands. It's got a lot to do with the whole Four of Wands demo he's dealing with. Moving on. Divine Masculine coming into the situation. He's got the Five of Cups. Hermit card. He's emotionally fulfilled. Karmically. Like, he's good. Like, I'm good on karma. So I ain't, you know. I'm on something. He's on something new. Like, two slide two. It's like... He's mostly fulfilled already by someone or something. Top of that, he's by himself. As if he removed a lot of people. As if he really has no one because he is on a whole other path. That's the signature of the next card, which is the Knight of Wands. Being, moving fast and furiously towards your divine path, basically. And... It's like I can say you're on a whole new road, a whole new way of life, a whole new way of thinking, a whole new path in life that you created for him. Thus, isolating him from the world like you are from being on your awesome path. It's awesome whether you realize it or not, feminine. It just puts you on a whole new level. That's where he's at now, finally moving forward. Because the next car after this, where he's headed to is union. Home. Or home. Union or home. Either way. <sighs> What's below this Knight of Wands in the feminine role, as far as the masculine in regards to the feminine, is the Queen of Wands. The Divine Feminine. Once again, he's following you. You are on a path. It's like Pac-Man. You know what I'm saying? He's following you. Your path. You're on a path, thus he's on the path by following you being on your path. You got to show him the way. So when you're not around, he knows where to go. Instead of just going in circles because he don't know where to go and you ain't around. But maybe he been doing this the whole time and now it's like, all right, fuck it. Get me home. <laughs> Guide me home. You know what I'm saying? Where you at? Where you be at? Where you going? Because wherever you be at, wherever you going, that shit obviously doing wonders for you, maybe you could do the same for me. The karmic role in regards to the masculine, we have the four of wands, home, Zion, you know, and like I say, home is where the heart is, so it could be your home, it could be home, home, like where your family and parents stay, it could be the place you and your twin go, where lovers go, do the things that lovers do. <laughs> Far away from here, you know what I'm saying? Wherever y'all go, whatever home is to y'all, could be that one that's that close. To me, yeah, my twin feeling at home is like being with them. It's like I'm cool by myself, I'm already raw. By myself, but when big homie with me, it's like it's like John Travolta and motherfucking uh, Samuel L. Jackson in Pulp Fiction, bro. Like by themselves, they dangerous. You know what I'm saying? But together, the motherfuckers is like man, forced to be working with. It's like Double Dragon. <laughs> Double motherfucking dragon is like, by myself, I'm cool. By himself, he cool. But when we come together and we, you know what I'm saying? When we do our little thing, boof, 
we're a whole force to be reckoned with, a two-headed motherfucking dragon. When I'm on your ass, I'm gonna reckon to be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna force to be reckoned with. But my tune is with me, it's just times two. I remember one time we got in an altercation with some people. It was some Caucasian young guys trying to set me up on some, like, fraud car accident type shit. Like, I parked my car next to their car. They made sure it was tight when I had to get in there. And I got in there. They didn't, know, they didn't think I was going to fit. Got in there. Then they try to act like I fucked their car up. Some goofy shit. My twin, he seen the shit a mile away. I was the dumb one trying to actually explain to them that it wasn't my fault, this, that, and the third. Twin like, yo. I'm saying twin because I don't want to say his name and shit. He like, yo, that shit's a scam. Let's go. So I'm, I'm getting in the car. move the car. These motherfuckers, he in the car with me. My twin, these motherfuckers is like standing in front of the car, so I can't go nowhere. So at this point, I'm cussing the dude out. I'm about to get the, out the car and like whoop some ass. But before I took my seatbelt off and was about to go whoop some ass, my twin was already outside the car chasing these motherfuckers, bro. Like, <laughs> like it was the most weirdest, crazy shit. I pull off. I'm literally moving. He hop in the car while the car moving. We peel off and shit. You know what I'm saying? It was better than that than us beating the shit out them. We sure would have. But it's like home. I feel at home with him. At least I know if he on deck, it's really about to go down. It was already about to go down when I came in. It's really going to go down here. It's already on hold when I came on deck. If he with me, we definitely getting on him. Like the, <laughs> like the, I don't know. Everything just line up when we on deck. It's like we like the Blues Brothers. Straight up. That's my demo. It's different from y'all joints. But me and my twin, we get together, we like the Blues Brothers. It's like, huh? Double Dragon. Feel me? Power Rangers when they morph into the Megazord. You know what I'm saying? Voltron, motherfucker. <laughs> Moving on. Clarifying this masculine, him in regards to himself, he's still stressing. It's that Nine of Swords that was in the last reading. That shit carried on here. Losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair, losing weight, stressing over the inevitable. But, like I said, that was just the beginning of the end. Because him going to the future in his karmic road, tennis sports, putting an end to that shit. Moving like, putting an end to the bullshit, moving on to another phase, the death. The death of the pop star, death of the pimp, death of the hustler, death of the ego, death of all that shit. To where he's a new creature. And him going into the future, this is kind of what he had in his future card too, last reading, sauce card. Once again, he's addicted to your sauce. It would make sense for him to kind of stay in cahoots with the sauce maker. You're a bartender. He's an alcoholic. You're a drug dealer. He's an addict. I'm trying to tell you. Michael Jackson, he Tito, fam. Like, he needs you. That's what he wants. He always wanted. That's why he's emotionally fulfilled in the beginning of this reading because you did that. And like I say, he's saucy at the end of this reading because you did that. Verification time. Verify this overall energy with this nine of wands. We got the king of cups. Tough love, 1960s dad, Jack Arnold card. Let me pick another card because I think those correlate with his deep wound. Queen of Swords. They do. This deep wound correlates from a king and queen energy. I take it as his parents. Could be a hostile parent environment. He had a, probably a tough dad and a very tough mom that stayed on his ass or probably beat his ass or maybe they were abusive towards each other and he came up in that that home you know maybe his dad didn't show him a few things maybe his dad couldn't show him a few things maybe his mother made it worse for I don't know it's just, I take it as parental issues whether his parents are alive or not like my twin is he's he's older he's older 60 so it's not around, but like I said, they still affect him. It's their traditions, their their traditions, cultures, what they really would have wanted out of him. That shit still plays a heavy role in what he does now, and they're not even here. So imagine the people that's still here. 
Like you got an auntie, you know what I mean? She's very, 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 very old. To the point where I was saying that shit one time. I think kind of hurt when I said that shit. I'm just like, yo, at, at, at this point, like, who, <laughs> who are you still keeping traditions up for? Like at your age and with the people in your family who are around, they're not, you know, why? Why do you, what, why? What's that? What's that about? To me, it's a deep wound. It's very deep. That shit goes deep. Like roots. The madness to the whole traditional culture thing, the whole, all that thing, it's deep. So, let's get more insight. We're gonna find this two of wands, the divine masculine's role. Shedding some light on his role. We got the engagement. In order for him to assume his position, he has to engage with you. In order for him to get down like doo doo brown with you, He's got to engage with you. You and him have to find a common ground to to shed some light on. Like this is just the lights being on and y'all two doing y'all thing. This is like an arena and this is the football game y'all playing. This is the basketball court and this is the court y'all playing on. Y'all playing ball, y'all engaging. This is the court, y'all playing ball. It's the bed, y'all knocking boots on some Chirac shit. It's like, you know, He's got to assume his position, and he's not going to know his role unless you show him his role. Once again, it's with the whole path thing. Until you get on the path, he's not going to know where to go. So, until you show him his role, or at least expose him to it, he's not going to know what that is either. Monkey see, monkey do. Clarifying this, Ten of Cups and the Karmic Masculine's role coming into this situation. Got the eight of swords. So, since the Lucy Lou is dominating up top and he's wounded and he's got this whole tough love, 1950s, 1960s, dad, regret, guilt shit going on. It's like his love that you have, the love that you gave him, shown him, exposed him to, it's taking him higher than this wall he set or was exposed to, or that was established in this life the first time. This is that tradition, that culture, that, you know what I mean? Self-imposed prison he was in. He's finally, love is finally setting him free out of that prison of tradition and values and social norms and shit that's been fucking up the whole Twin Flame demo since, since, since the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Moving on. Clarifying this hermit card the masculine has in regards to himself. Hold on. Alright, Ma, let me hit you back in like, uh, give me like 10 minutes. Alright. Uh, clarifying this hermit card, five of cups, we got the three of cups. Which is, to me, third party or a distraction. Or this could be children, the people that revolve around him, you know, he's isolated from the people that evolve around him, that used to revolve around him like you, let me clarify that, eight of wands, five plus three, that's eight, eight of cups, that's the Patty the Bell card, eight of wands, that's communication, so he's getting eight up by not communicating, that you emotionally fulfill him, that there's even a wall here, that he has this deep ass wound that he's been dealing with since forever, that he really ain't came out the bag with you yet, or maybe he has, but not kind of in detail, not in the manner in which he really should. Coming to the situation, like I said, he's isolated by being on his divine path, by weeding the people out he had to. And it's really putting a strain on him and the people he has to solely focus on now or solely needs in his life right now. Like I say, the earth cannot live. I mean, it can live without the moon, but it won't function in the same way as it did without it. A lot of shit on earth would change if we didn't have no moon. We'll be more like an alien planet. 
if we didn't have a motherfucking moon. So it's a necessity to have it. At, at like, it's a necessity. It's a necessity to have you at this point, to be on path at this point, to be directed, to be led at this point, to get home at this point. Clarify this Knight of Wands, this masculine's karmic role, him moving fast and fiercely towards his path. That came from a self-awakening, Ace of Cups, self-respect, self-admiration, self-love, self-care. By respecting himself and admiring himself and being, you know, looking at himself on a whole new level, he's looked at you on a whole new level. Like I said, you got to respect yourself to respect another person. You got to love yourself before you love anyone. You got to know yourself before you know get to know someone else. So he's on a path because he's getting to know himself, thus getting to know his twin, thus getting to know God. That's the Trinity hierarchy. So I find this divine feminine card this masculine has in regards to the feminine in his realm. We got the Decepticon card once again. Communication. 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 Whatever this Nine of Wands is, it's eating his ass up. Eight. Eight. He getting eight up. Because he needs to communicate what this is. He needs to come out the box of what this is. He needs to let you know something big. Not small, something big. Something very vulnerable. Not a secret, something that's going to jeopardize and fuck y'all shit up. But something more like a wish granted. In your case, feminine, just something you always want to hear. Something you always need to hear. Something you always need to see. Something you always needed to experience. From him at this point. At this point. Clarifying his four wands. This masculine has in his karmic role in regards to him. We got the five of wands. Progress. Once again, when you come home, all right, he's gonna have to get with the program. When you're at home, there's no time to lollygag. Can't play at home. Be very accountable in Zion. Your spirituality, your mentality, your whole ascension process is very important in Zion. Little petty ass worldly shit that does not dwell here. <laughs> the devil does not live here. <laughs> this does not dwell here. The devil doesn't dwell here. So he's going to have to go through some back and forth conflict, which is only the next step. All fives are difficult. Like the Four of Pentacles, letting some shit go so you can get to the Five of Pentacles, the Dark Knight of the Soul. No one wants to go through the Dark Knight of the Soul, but it's a process. You have to go through it to get to the Six of Pentacles, which is stabilizing yourself. The fucking Five of Pentacles stabilized you. By going through the bad, you learn how to go through the bad. By going home, you're learning how to live a whole new way, which is going to put yourself in an uncomfortable back and forth, trying to maintain position, but it's only good for your soul. It's only good for you. It's only good for your path. It's only good for where you got to go to in the future. It's only good for your whole journey overall. And that's what the master is going through in regards to himself. Karmatically. With the whole union thing. As far as it's not as far as him in regards to himself, we got the full card. Once again, he's stressed because he's in a new fucking... Like I said, this union shit is new. Entertaining this twin shit is new. It was cool entertaining it when he didn't really give a fuck about it. But he's entertaining and knowing what it is. The power of this union. The power it gave you. The power it's giving him. Feelings. It's not just the feelings and the emotions and the back and forth shit anymore. It's just like you can't deny it. It's undeniable. The connection. It's undeniable the effect. I was talking about doing that shit today. Not on the phone. We're not talking. <laughs> I just be sending little messages here and there and shit. That he reads and don't respond on. But it's like, hey. Like, at the end of the day, you know what I mean? I'm taking off because I'm on my journey that you put me on. Like, whether you come in or not, whether you come home or not, whether you with your boy or not, it don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. So I'm just appreciative that I'm good. I'm just trying to get you good. I just want you to at least appreciate that I'm trying to return the favor. You can at least see that I'm cool. You ain't got to get with the whole Johnny Union path thing. As long as we don't want to court about that. As long as you know that this shit ain't the... It's unlike anything else you ever motherfucking experience, and as long as you know you'll never go through no shit like this. At least this lifetime. So I want you to know, just acknowledge facts. 
that this shit is real. And this shit is not. <laughs> what else you going through got you like this? Exactly. Clarifying this ten of sword business. Once you, once he ends this something, he can begin something, which is the six of pentacles, which is stabilization. Like I say, he, you know, it has to be the death of something to stabilize him. Got to kill his old self to become his new self. That's this whole fool card is about new beginnings. It's just like being open minded to something totally new. You got to be in you know, another comfort. You got to be out your comfort zone in a whole new environment. It's only gonna make you a better person. A more experienced person, a cultured person, seasoned person, veteran. Gotta go through the fire. Everybody gets tested. <sighs> Clarifying the sauce card, this masculine guy going into the future with himself. A manifestation. This is in the last reading. Manifesting union. Progressing to union, going from the four to the five, progression from the union, union, manifesting, union, manifesting, <laughs> manifesting union, manifesting union, it's manifesting union. Let me pick another card. Just to see what's up this manifestation. I'm telling you, going from the four to the five, all the way to the ten, back to that ace of wands, ascension. That's the last step after putting this away, after ending what he needs to, he can begin his journey up together with you. So, what does the divine masculine want to let you know in the fourth or fifth dimension, divine feminine? Knight of Cups. I just take it as he hopes that he's still your knight in shining armor. Hopefully that hasn't changed, is what he said. Hopefully I'm still your knight in shining armor. Hopefully that hasn't changed. Um, what does the Divine Masculine's fourth, fifth dimensional self want to tell him? Seven of Cups. Love your own. This is your Twin Flame situation. Love your own Twin Flame situation. Stop looking at everybody else's situation because they're karmics. Most of these situations you're looking at are karmic situations. You shouldn't even be looking at them or even be trying to be like or compete like or even be in tune with them like that. But you wouldn't know unless you two a pinnacle, three a pinnacle, you're feminine. Peep how she appreciates her own cup and how she appreciates you. By seeing how divine feminine appreciates her own cup and appreciates you, it'll tell you how you need to appreciate your own cup and what that comes with. And what the universe won't let the divine mass and know, boss up. Sooner you boss up, sooner your feminine can put you in a position to boss up and win in this whole twin flame demo, sooner you can manifest union with her. She can only bring you to this point. This is the door. She can only bring you to the door. You got to walk through it and man up on everything afterwards. That's the King of Pentacles. And after you man up on shit, you can get to manifest it. That's the message that I got. You know what I'm saying? Hope I can be of some assistance. It's your boy D-Boom. Stay tuned. Uh, I have Divine Feminine's karmic situation coming. And I have one good grand Twin Flames and Union reunion and recognition coming. Also... Uh, like I said, astrology videos, I'll have all those done by Sunday. That is air and earth. All right, stay tuned. It's your boy. Peace.